Hello, I'm back, and I finally finished some lights. I've had them going for just over a month now, I would say, maybe a couple weeks, and they seem to be doing very well. I've grown some plants under them. Now, the last two days I did forget to turn them off, so that's why the plants look a little bit burnt. So that's kind of my fault, but they're very strong lights, and they seem to be doing their job. I put five strips of lights on here on a piece of wood and it's holding very well it's doing pretty well so now I'm going to show you how to make them alright everybody get all your things together and we're going to make them right now so first things you're going to need is a gelled super glue I didn't use this in the first one, but these stickers don't hold very well onto the wood, so they will need um, a little bit extra strength. So they might they hold well to plastic, just not on wood. Um, you need a piece of wood, depending on the size you want, some scissors, soldering iron, solder, and of course your LED strips, about as long as the wood, a little bit shorter, and has however many you want on there. And you'll need some battery pack things. I don't know how much volts these ones are. But yeah, anyways, let's get started. Alright, step number one. You want to lay out all your pieces. And before I get into detail with that, you want to get a razor blade or like an X-Acto knife. And right where those um, copper pieces are, you're going to cut just behind it just down under the rubber and pull that chunk off so it exposes the copper. And I'll show you what I mean. So just like this. So it, there, it shows the copper and that way you can you have something to solder onto and the plastic isn't covering it. So after you do that to all the pieces what you want to do is line them up so they're all one is uh, pushing out this way and one is pushing this way and that way that way it gives you some room to uh, put your wires on because you're going to connect two wires here, two wires there, and two wires here. If they were all lined up, it'd be very hard to do that, so this just makes it a bit easier. As well as being able to use less light but still cover the same amount of area when, when they're turned on. So after you do that, you're going to peel the backing off, get some super glue and super glue them on and stick them all down. So I'll get back to you when I do that. Alright, so I'm just waiting for the soldering iron to get heated up. All the super glue's dry and now I'm going to show you what you do. So you get some soldering paste which is like kind of this gooey gross stuff and um, what that does is it helps helps it stick. So you don't need a lot. You just need a little bit to go right on where you're going to solder. So you're just going to put it on like that. Just need a little bit more. Just like that. So you're going to put that on there. And I forgot my wire. I'll be right back when I get the wire. Okay, so this is how I do it. I get my, uh, my soldering wire, or whatever you call it soldering, yeah, solder wire, and um, I got my red cord and put it on the positive, and I wait to put the black one on the negative, now you get your solder iron and you just, you heat up the end of the cord, and you get a little drop on there, and put it on top, so that's just, uh, that's just how I do it, you can do it like other ways, but I find this is the easiest way. So, just like that. And sometimes it's tricky to get it to stay on, so I'll just get back to you when I finish that. Alright, so I finished soldering those two, 
Now what you do is you go to the top and you do the same but you connect on both sides. So I'll get back to you when I finish that. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And then you're going to do that. So that's where the old one was, the first one that we did. And then you do one here. And then you do one here. And then you do one here. Okay? So I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you when I'm finished. Alright, I finished this part of the light. And uh, all I have to do now is on that end, I have to attach a connector so I can attach it to a 12 volt battery pack. And then when you plug in the wall, it should work. So I'm going to go test it and make sure all the wiring worked and that everything's working properly. And then I'll get back to you and teach you how to do that part. So yeah, I'll get back to you soon. Okay, so what you do with the end that's like this, you have to get one of these pieces. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, but when I figure out figure out I'll try to put it right here so anyways you put the positive and the positive and the negative and the negative and then screw it tight and then this you connect connect to your 12 oh, sorry your 12 volt battery thing and then it should work so yeah I'll get back to you when I plug it in all right so now you get your 12 volt battery thing and you plug it in and there you go you just made your own grow lights so yeah that's about it they work really well I will put a link in the description to where you can get them it does help out the channel so yeah thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and as always stay outdoors stay botanical keep your hobbies and I'll see you in the next video